Hi, my name is Jem Uxell, and this video series is about how you can get into your slides. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about OBS, the Open Broadcaster software. Now, this is not going to be a full tutorial on how to use OBS. So if you are not familiar with OBS, I'd recommend that you check out some online tutorials. I'll put some links to tutorials uh, in the description. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how I use OBS inside my setup. Now, OBS appears at the heart of my setup here, and it's connected to all of our inputs, and it's connected to it, its outputs are the, the virtual uh, webcam here and the streaming service. So um, let me eliminate the components that are not directly touching OBS here, right? So these are just the components that are touching OBS. In this video, I'm only going to talk about the video components. So I'm going to talk about the audio components in a separate video, so let me eliminate them as well. All right. So here, as you can see, we have two inputs to OBS. There are the camera view and uh, the slides. And we have two outputs from OBS, that the virtual webcam and the streaming service. So let's talk about the inputs first. Now, for slides, I can capture the slides uh, in OBS using its window capture capabilities. Uh, you can also use display capture, but I would not recommend it because display capture captures your entire display and you may want to use your display for showing other things as well besides your slides. Uh, so I would recommend that you use video uh, window capture and for window capture, um, you, know, you can use your favorite presentation software and OBS will be able to capture its presentation window. Uh, for our camera, we can use uh, OBS's video capture device capabilities. Um, I'll actually talk about how you can generate this camera image in a separate video. Uh, but, and you can, we can use OBS to capture that using a video capture device. And inside OBS, we would like to composite these two images together to form that, something that looks like this. right? And for that, ideally, we would like to have what is called multiply blending. That is, we would like to multiply the colors of these two images together. Well, this is technically possible to do inside OBS, but OBS by default without any plugins does not support this feature at all. It becomes a little bit difficult and clumsy. So we're not going to use multiply blending. Instead, we're going to use the good old alpha blending for that. Now for alpha blending, um, what is typical to do is to generate this camera image using a green screen in the background. So how this works is that if you have a green screen behind you, um, we, the green colored pixels of your camera input can be converted to transparent pixels and they sort of disappear. Well, this works if you have a good camera and if you have proper lighting and of course the correct shade of green in the background. Um, but it's a little bit clumsy to set it up and, and make it work properly. It, you also get some green halo and you kind of try to, you need to find ways to sort of minimize that green halo. It's a, it's a little bit of a mess to make it work properly. What I prefer to do is not this. What I prefer to do is using a white background instead. Because at the end of the day, what we would like to do is to take this image and composite on our slides that have white background, right? So it kind of makes sense to use the same colored background for our camera view as well. And that's what um, I prefer to do. Now I'm going to show you how I do this using slightly more complicated slides like this, right? So um, here to form this image, I'm going to be taking these two inputs and I'll be creating three sources from them. Now, first source is my is going to be my slides. In the middle, I'm going to have my camera view. Uh, and on top of that, I'm going to have my slides again. Now, here's how I put everything together. At the, at the very bottom, I have my slides. And on top of that, I'm putting my camera view. Now, while I'm putting my camera view, I am going to eliminate all the, the perfectly white pixels. So they're going to disappear. Now, when I do that, then my, I, I might appear on top of the content in my slides, which is not something I, I, I prefer. Uh, I, would, I prefer to appear behind the content. So I'm going to put my slides on top of this again um, with slightly different settings. So the, my, my slide content will appear in front of me. Now here's what it looks like. You know, the first source is going to be the slides. And uh, on top of that, I have my camera view. 
Uh, and for that, I'm using a color key filter inside OBS. That color key filter uh, with these settings will filter out the white color. The perfect white colors will disappear as transparent pixels. On top of that, I'm going to be using my slides again as a separate source, as a repeated source. And for that, I'm using color key again with slightly different settings uh, using, uh, again, filtering out the white colors, uh, but it's also filtering out colors that are close to white as well. Um, the reason why I do this is that if I have sort of grayish looking um, stuff in my slides, I would like to appear in front of that. Now, if you don't want to do that, uh, you, you, you don't have to. You can have a simplified setup here, more simpler setup where you put your camera view in the background and on top of the, that you put your slides and just filter out the perfect white colors. Uh, so anything that's going to be perfectly white, any pixel that's going to be perfectly white is going to be transparent and you'll see your camera view. Anything that's not perfectly white is going to appear in front of you. So if you prefer that option, this is a simpler alternative that works just fine. But that, that's not what I do. Uh, so you can composite these two images, these two sources of your slides and your camera, uh, like so inside OBS. And from OBS, you can easily stream this image to your favorite streaming, uh, streaming service. OBS is designed to do this. So if you're not familiar with this, again, any tutorial that you find, even the ones, um, including the ones uh, in the description, will tell you how to do this. Um, we would also like to export this output, uh, output this image into a virtual webcam so that we can feed this uh, to our video conferencing software. So let's, let's talk about that just briefly. Uh, for, for virtual webcam, what I do is I use OBS Studio plugins. Uh, there are multiple plugins that can do that. Uh, one plugin is OBS Virtual Cam. Uh, I've used that, it works just fine. It doesn't really have any problems, it just works perfectly fine. It's fairly easy to set up. What I prefer to use, however, is a different plugin that's called Mutech NDI plugin. Um, I prefer to use this because it gives you a bit more options, a bit more control over the, the uh, video quality, um, but it's slightly more difficult to, to, to set up. Uh, now, I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna get into details of how to use these. Instead, I'm gonna put links in the description uh, of how to use these plugins. So this is what I plan to talk about regarding OBS. I, found, I hope you found this video helpful and it helps you get into your slides.